So how do you create dynamic sidebars that you can place anywhere you like? Well, what I'm going to do is walk through a handful of different kinds of sidebars and then see how they appear on a sample site. Now, if you take a look at this site, what you'll see is that there's a whole bunch of articles. Those articles are actually in four different categories. So if I pick this D23, I'll see these articles. If I pick D23 Expo, I will see two different ones. If I go take a look at Legends, I'll see different ones. And again, Ask Dave gives me two others. So I have two different articles for each of these four categories. Of course, when I'm on the home page, I'll see them all. So I'm on different pages. This is the home page. And then, of course, these are different categories. So there's pages and categories. In this case, this page is an archive page, meaning it has all a whole list of posts that belong to it. And you could see that on other pages as well. If we had gone into some of these others, you might see an archive page that shows a list of articles. And these articles can have photos and everything else. But what we're worried about is what happens when we want to customize which sidebars appear, and we're looking at this white space right here. And we want to see that dynamically change based on what category we're in, for example. So we're going to come here and we're going to click an Add New Sidebar. All right? What you'll see is there's a lot of different options here. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it. So in this case, I'm going to name this the Join D23 Sidebar. Okay. The exposure is singular in archive, meaning that we can uh, either target something very, very specific or make it broad. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna, going to merge um, stuff in with the primary sidebar, which means if the sidebar has something in it already, we're going to leave it there. In our case, for example, um, there was that menu. So we're going to leave the menu there, and we're just going to merge whatever we put here in. And here we have the merge position, we're going to put it below. So below whatever else is defined in there, right? And so we'll hit publish. Now, when I hit publish, of course, what's happening is I'm creating it right away. Um, and you'll notice that I have conditions here, right? Um, so as I can start, you know, as I can start creating these, I can create all sorts of options for how I want this to appear. So let's create a new group, right? Uh, so this is display the sidebar with, and, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, pick one of these guys. So we're going to do this with categories, right? So anything in these categories, uh, if, if this particular is a join D23, so we're actually going to put it in all four of these. So we're going to add this to the group and we're going to hit update. Oh, one second, we should have saved those changes. So let's try this again. Unless it did. Let's take a look and see if we have it in here. No, let's add the group. And now we're coming in here. Ah, there's a save button. So now it's saved. Now we can hit update. So now what's going to happen is this join 20 D23 is going to appear in our widget section, right? There's join D23. It's colored tells us that it's a um, that it's a dynamic sidebar, right? And uh, it's going to show up in this primary, but below the menu. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add something to it. So let's add a text box to it, and we're going to leave that join alone. But now what we want to do is we want to put an image. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to come over here to our library, and I'm going to add a whole bunch of different images so that I have them prepped. These are like my little mini ads. My Yeah, I'm adding ads. So I'm going to come over here, and let's see where I'm at. So what I'm doing is adding several different ads to the site, and uh, that's great. What I'm what I'm going to do was I'm going to pick the join, which is this guy here, right? That's the one I'm going to be using. But for now, I uploaded all of them, right? Uh, I'm going to grab the URL to that particular image, right? Close that down, 
come back over to here because what we want is we want this image, right? So there are other ways to get you this image, but I'm just gonna cheat and go fast. So now what does that mean should happen, right? Well, what should happen is now, as I refresh this page, I'm on the home page. I'm not going to see it until I click these guys. For a second, I thought, what happened? But if I go into each of these, you'll notice the content on the left is changing, and yet this is showing up. That's, that's a no-brainer, right? Of course it's showing up because that's what we told it to do, right? Notice we didn't tell it to show up on the homepage. We'll come back to that in a second. But now let's start adding some other groups for some of these other uh, spots. So we're gonna come back over to our sidebars area, add new. We're gonna name this the expo sidebar, right? This is for any content that is specific to the expo. Okay, we're gonna not do a replace, we're gonna do a merge again, right? Primary sidebar, bottom is fine. And we're gonna come over to our categories. We're gonna add a new group. And we're looking specifically for the expo. Adding that group there, hitting save, hitting the update there. So now we should be able to go to our widgets and see the expo one, right? We're gonna give it a, a tag there. And we're gonna come back over to this guy. And what we want is um, we're going to want this, well, the join is already going to be there, but now we want this guy. And this is the, all the ads, right? So again, and if we come back here, again, we see nothing. When I go to D23, I have this. If I go to Legends, I'm still going to have it, and the same with Ask Dave. But if I go to the Expo, you're going to notice that I have this and the Join. Now, if I want to change that order, I come back over here to our sidebars, right? And in the Join, I'm going to come here and edit it. And I'm going to name this Order 1. And I'm going to come back to the sidebar, and I'm going to order the expo as two. If I've done this right, there's order one and there's order two. Now, notice that this offer is not going to show up anywhere else, right? It's only when you're on the expo, and this is the specific sponsors for the expo, if you will. Now again, I'm cheating because I'm creating just one big image. The reality is you could create lots of images with links uh, and put them in here, but you're noticing the point of how this is working. So this gives you the ability to target these things, but let's target a little bit more, like let's target the home page, right? So we're gonna come back here and we're gonna create a new one, right? And this is the home page guy. We're going to add a new group, add the front page to the group, right? This just, this is whatever is defined as the front page, right? Which will, which will help us. All right. Um, this is going to be the, uh, again, we're going to merge. Uh, let's define this as one. Okay. And on that home page now, when we come over to our widgets, right, we can now start adding things. Um, so uh, we, we can do the same thing again, right? We'll come in here and we can uh, grab the ones that we care about. For example, we might care about this guy because we're announcing the expo. I'll come back and make those images active. And this guy. And let's see, uh, let's probably do them in that order. But this is us defining the order, right?
And what should happen now is it should show up here on the home page. But notice when I go to the other guys, it's not going to be there, right? It's not there at all. We're not seeing any of the other stuff. Okay. Now, let's say you want to get fancy and do something else, but it's not related to images. Right now, all we've been doing is images. So let's go back to our sidebars, right? And let's create one uh, specifically for, um, let's see. Uh, I think we have, uh, no, not in here. I think we have, I'm going to go look in our menus because I think I created a very specific menu. Yeah, for legends. It's called the legends menu. So we're going to come back up in here and we're going to add a new one for legends. Right. Uh, singular and archive merge again. Uh, now in this case, we know that we're going to have we know we're going to have a uh, that image right. And actually, let me show you what what this is going to play out in. So let's say that we go into um, Let's say we go into that area and we don't want to show the other menu. We want to show a nuance menu, right? And I'm going to explain what that means in just a second. We're going to create a group. And in this group, we're looking at categories. We're only looking at legends. We're adding this here. Save. Publish. And now we're going to go into our widgets. And you can see this is, I mean, there's, there's a dynamic here where you could get yourself in trouble if you start going getting really complicated with how you're designing this but it's meant to do this so we're going to add legends to this now i'm going to show you what this what this translates to right um when i come here right you'll notice there's a sidebar that it, that includes this this uh menu and this menu has been there over and over and over again but the moment i go into legends what's going to happen i'm going to have changed this because remember i just did a forced replace which means take away everything that's there and give me this. And of course, right, by doing that, I also lost out on this, right? So you have to, you have to be careful how you, wanna, how you wanna do this and therefore in what order and what dynamic you want to play with this. Um, that said, right, you can see why this might be useful because if I go into Legends and there's a whole bunch of these guys, that's great. Now if I decide I don't wanna do a force replace, right, if I decide I wanna drop it below, I can do that as well. And I come back over to the sidebars I'm going to come to Legends, and instead of doing a Replace, I'm going to do a Merge, right? Except now, I'm changing this to Order 0, and in fact, another way to do that is Merge at the, at the, well, I don't want the top. I want it below the other menu, right? But I want it to be above that image of Join, right? So there's my, my 0. Um, the other thing I noticed is when I created this, the actual widget didn't put a title, right? So I want to go back to my uh, widgets and I want to adjust the title in here, right, for this custom menu. Uh, we can call it Inside Legends. And that's just going to give it a title so that it separates it from the legends that are there. So if I come back to the home page, you'll see everything that's working right. If I come into D23, you see just this guy. If I go to Expo, you're going to see the other ads. Uh, if I go to Ask Dave, I'm only going to get one guy. But if I go into Legends, now I should see this. I'm going to get that title and section, and I'm still going to get my join. And that's how you can get dynamic sidebars running and configuring on your site.